In this video I will show you the Bricks widget creator as a WordPress plugin. So you can create and edit your widgets directly in the WordPress environment without the need to export a widget every time you will take a look. Let's create an example widget together. Our widget will have the name custom banner and as you can see we have some simple very understandable HTML code with a headline inside. We have CSS code to style the HTML and yeah, simple JavaScript code to create a small fade-in effect for our headline. Once we save our project, we will find our created widget in the Bricks widget library. There. Let's try to change the name of our widget category. Maybe client Bricks widgets. Let's save and see what happens. Yeah, we see the new name. And this is the output of our widget. Um, very basic, but we want to extend it. Let's start with some fields. First of all, we want to make the headline changeable. For each field, we get a variable. You see it on the right side and we can use these variables. From now, the headline is dynamic. Let's try it. You see, we have a new field headline and we can change this value. Let's create a field to add an image to our widget to set the background image. Now we have the possibility to add an image to our widget. Let's do it. Great. We want to change the background position to center. For this image this looks much better. Now we want to add a field for typography settings. So the possibility to change um, something like the font size, the line height, uh, but also the font uh, color. Now we can change the typography settings of our headline. Let's beautify this. Let's add an additional description for our widget. And also the description should be dynamic. So we create another field.
And now we can add a custom description. If you are an advanced developer, you also can use if statements. Let's try it. In this example, if the field with the ID control ID is true, this part is fired, else not. Let's try to add some other text field with a button text and we want to achieve that if um, the button text input field is not empty the button should show important to know you can use the basic PHP syntax okay let's try our button condition logic yeah, let's fill the button text and great, the button appears. And if we remove the text again, the button disappears. So everything looks good. We also can use checkboxes, for example, to ask the user if he wants to show a button or not. And here we want to set the default value to false. If the field ID show button text is true, we want to add the HTML for the button. And now we want to add um, also an else statement. So if this ID is not true, we want to output a simple text. Okay. Yeah, because we set the default value for the checkbox to false, we see the static text. But if we set the value to true and we type in a button text, we see the button appears. And if we set the checkbox to false again, we see again the static text. Everything works. By the way, if you have some syntax errors in your code and the code cannot compile, the widget creator will not save the work. You will get a pop-up with an information and there you can check your compiled code to search the error. So your website will never crash because of a syntax error. To understand the different types of variables and the additional logic, for example, there is an instructions page inside the plugin and there you have an overview of the different functions and variable types. Yeah, this is the Bricks widget creator for WordPress. I hope you guys do like this tool and if you have some questions about it, feel always free to ask me. My name is Daniel, see you next time.